Hey, Dr. Fred Domenico, Lead Coaching with this week's video on the Thought Behind the Thought series. This is really cool because here's a great concept that determines your success and the success of your patients and your programs. Now, what's that mean? Get this one. Here's number one. People that fail, like fail to reach their goals, focus on what they have to go through. What's that mean? They focus on every step of the process. And as they're going through every step, they get overwhelmed. That's why people fail because they, they, they get stuck and they put all this energy on small things. Then they go to this step and they put all this energy. Then they go to this step and there's all this energy. And I'm getting tired already. That's why they get overwhelmed, right? People that succeed focus on the end, right? They're so focused on the end. They go through all those small steps. They give a little bit of energy to those steps. They develop the skills. They do all that because they're focused on this. They're not focused on the pain, right? They'll go through the pain and get the outcome. Process people get stuck in the pain of every step. Now, this is very important. Number one, you have to know what personality type, not only the person sitting in front of you, but what personality type are you? Because if you're a process person, you can get all these steps and mechanics and you're talking to an outcome person, they <laughs> That's even funny because they lose patience with you. You're so stuck on the details. You're like, come on, come on. Tell me the bottom line. You know those type of people, the CEO type. Tell me the bottom line. Be quick. So if you have an outcome person and you're a process person, you get stuck on the details. They lose their patience. Boom, they're out. They're out because you just broke rapport, right? Now, if you're an outcome person and you try and push a process person to an outcome, then the process person doesn't buy in. See, that's a problem with the two-day system. In other words, you day one, day two, pre-consult, consult, exam, show them the x-rays, and then you're gonna give them, you're gonna give them their condition, then you're gonna give them time, the recommendations, then you're gonna give them money. You gave them three major things to think about. So here's a problem. If they're a process person, you gave them three things, right? You gave them their, their condition, time, and money, I didn't want to end up with, with this finger last. <laughs> no, so I had to change that. But what you do is, the problem is, what are they gonna focus on? Time and money, this means what? They forget about their condition. What are they buying? Time is even smaller. What's the biggest one? Money, right? And so then you get people, now you got a process person in a short system that's concerned about money. What do they say? I have to think about it. Oh my God, has anybody ever heard that besides me? Did you ever hear that? And what percentage of your patients? It could be their process people. It could be it's an excuse because you didn't find their emotional reason why. But if you don't have a process person, you don't have their, if you don't have their emotional reason why, you can't accelerate their process. What else are they going to say? I need a second opinion. Of course, it could be a trust issue or they could be a process person and you're pushing the process too fast. That's why we do a three-day system, right? You get another workshop, right? You have day one, day two, and then you give the workshop, but it may be a few adjustments. So process people get to have an experience. You get to train them. You get to build a relationship. So by the time they're at that decision-making process, they've gone through the process, and you've been able to control the focus and the meaning. Outcome people, oh, I need to fix it. Let's go. Right? They see it, they know it, what's another, and, and they just want to move. Those people may do a day two. They may, you may uh, get a good commitment on day two. Of course, maybe it won't, maybe they, you know, it's not because of time though, it's because you didn't find their emotional reason why. Outcome people, they need a strong emotional reason why, boom, they are in 100%. Even though they make decisions quickly, which is a trait of highly successful people, by the way, they get the information, they make quick decisions, they feel confidence and certainty, that's why you always have to build certainty. If you haven't found their emotional reason why, they don't buy. But if you find their emotional reason why, man, they are in like that. Process people doesn't really matter. They gotta take their time. So what's the process person gonna say? I have to think about it, right? I need a second opinion. I have to go talk to this person. A process person may have been to eight different chiropractors throughout their life. So if you say, you know, it's fascinating. You know, I see you've been to eight different chiropractors. May I ask why? Well, it could be because I moved or I did this. But if they've been in the same town 
Why are they using eight different chiropractors? Shoppers could be processed people. They just want to try. Does a person say, well, I just want to try this. If you're doing a two day system and a person says, I want to try this. It's very probable that they're a process person and they have to think through the process. So you're saying, okay, now that I get this, because everybody's hearing this all the time, what do I do? Don't, so you gotta, you can ask them a really good question. When you're making a decision, Mr. Jones, do you find what you like and then, man, when you find it, you're in 100%? Yep, that's it. So if this is a system and you find this can solve your problem, man, you'd be totally committed. That's a test close, right? I mean, that's, that's what it's called. However, you're always keeping your finger on the pulse. See, they just lost the right to object. Or you can say, are you the type of person that likes to take your time making decisions? You like to gather information over time, right? Notice my body language, bringing things together. I like to gather, oh, I definitely like to do my homework. Do not do a two-day system, which in my opinion, you shouldn't do one anyway. But don't do that. You got to drag it out, man. I would, I would, I would make the recommendations for at least three or four days. So there's a great um, question. Do you like to make decisions over time and gather all the information, or when you find what you want, man, you're committed. You just move. That's the difference between an outcome person and a process person. Now the process person, they remember, they get overwhelmed. So you don't put too much emphasis on one step, right? You, you find, you take them through the system, you clear their objections at that point or they can't move on. And then you take them to the next step and then you clear that out and you take them to the next step. Otherwise they get stuck. They get, you know, they're, they're 10 still stuck on something 15 minutes ago and you wonder why they act like they're not listening or they're not getting it, right? So, you have to determine the thought behind the thought is who am I talking to? You're not just pushing them through a rigid communication system, right? NLP presupposition number seven, flexibility is the catalyst. So we have a structure, yet we adapt to the type of personality that that, that person is. Do not push a process person through the system. I have to get a second opinion. Well, there's a whole way to handle that. You know, I need more information. There's all the way to that. When, now, when you have research in your workshop, they say, you know, that's great because we have a workshop, our Regaining Health, Youth, Health and, sorry, Regaining Youth Vitality Workshop has a research that you're probably looking for so you don't have to do the work, right? They just lost the right to object to go to the workshop and bring their spouse. So there's a number of ways to handle this. We handle all of this at the boot camp. The main, the main, so this isn't an hour long video, the main question is, Mr. Jones, when you make a decision, do you find what you want and then you just move? Or do you like to gather the most information and make a decision over time? Determine if they're a process person or an outcome person and adapt your systems because even process people are subluxated too, right? And if you're a process person, know when you're talking to an outcome person, okay? Because they will kick out as fast as possible. Make a freaking decision, move them through. Don't get stuck on the facts. Find the reason why they're in, they'll bring their family. People who fail, focus on every step of the process. People who succeed, find the outcome, and then they move through the process. That's also why on day three of our system, we have 20 to 30 year health goals. Why? Because if people succeed, I'm spitting my message out at you. If people succeed, they need a big picture focus. So even with process people, we give them a big picture focus so they don't get stuck on the details, right? It's already in the system. Do you know lead coaching is based on almost 20 years of human behavior research applied to corrective chiropractic. How cool is that? Do you want a system that's predictable? Go to the boot camps. All right, gang, coming out with another one next week. Peace and love.